everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bella Stone and today I'm going to be talking about the Hydrate Spark 3 Smart Water Bottle. I'm excited specifically about this product because it's combining two things that I'm really passionate about, which is technology and sustainability. I'm going to be adding timestamps down below as well so you can skip around to whatever part interests you the most. But I will be starting off talking about the company Hydrate Spark themselves and what makes them motivated to create their products. The company started on Kickstarter in 2015 and I went to their website to see what really motivated them to create smart water bottles and I found a lot of surprising facts about our daily water consumption. They stated that 75% of Americans suffer chronic dehydration and that the average American drinks two and a half cups of water a day. That is very low but it's definitely relatable. So they wanted to find a solution to make people drink more water and also be sustainable. They decided to develop a hydration equation to address this problem to calculate the optimal hydration level for each individual a day. It fluctuates depending on your body and activity levels. I'll add more specifics here on the screen about all the things they take into account for the equation that really personalizes it to you. Now let's get into the unboxing. Now let's talk about the technology of the water bottle that goes hand in hand with the hydration equation. So the Hydrate Spark 3 is a water bottle that has a glowing sensor inside. Eight LEDs line the sensor and those are the ones that are gonna be alerting you with the bright light to drink more water throughout your day. The way that the sensor works it has capacity sensing technology, which measures the height of the water inside the water bottle. It can do so by measuring the electrical signals that's sent out by the water inside the container. If you want to know more about capacitive liquid sensors, I recommend this video by Gill Sensors, which I will be linking down below. It also has an internal memory, which stores up to three days of water consumption data, so you don't have to have your phone with you at all times. Now let's take a look at the app and how the water bottle connects via Bluetooth so you can see your hydration levels. Now I'm going to walk you guys through the app and the key features that stand out. As you can see, it gives you feedback on each day of the week. Your overall goal, it gives you the percentage that you're at so far with your goal, how many bottles total you'd have to drink to reach it, and your day streak. I'm not good with my day streak right now just because... I'm not going to try to excuse myself. I should have drank more water, but so you have the trophy right here that is pretty motivating. A lot of different awards that you can get, a lot of trophies. You can see how using a reusable water bottle rather than a single use plastic water bottle can really make a difference. Here you can manually add the water and you also have the water bottle that you can click at the very top. Oh, this is actually a great way for me to show you the water bottle glowing. So there's the glow button right there. And that's how much it glows during the daytime. It's definitely more prominent when it's darker. You do have more options here where you can change the bottle name, recalibrate the sensor. Here's the process of recalibrating the bottle. First, you need to empty the bottle and place it upright and wait 10 seconds. Next, you fill up the water bottle and wait another 10 seconds. Now we're all done recalibrating the bottle. Just cover it up and we're all set. Moving on to other features of the app, you have your history tab that shows you your daily and monthly data. 
There's also the friends tab where you can keep track of each other's hydration levels. There's the settings tab where you can edit your account, your goal. You can set it as the recommended with the hydration equation or set it manually. You can edit your personal parameters such as height, weight. You can sync your water data to other fitness apps and change the fluid units from ounces to milliliters. You can set up reminders based on your sleep schedule. You can customize it more specifically to set how many times you want to be reminded a day or what kind of reminders you want to receive. You can also customize your bottle glows, set whatever brightness you prefer. This app does seem to have every customization option that you can think of. The only critique I have is that the bottom and top bottle button seems like a redundant feature because they both go to the same page and are also accessible at the home page. Showing you the app right now is just making me think how I need to be drinking more water, but it goes to show that it does make you more aware that you're not drinking water as much as you should be. In the Apple website, they offer white, black, or yellow. In the Hydrate Spark website, you have berry, coral, storm, scuba, royal, and black. So now I would like to give my review on the water bottle. First things first, I definitely started being a lot more aware of how much water I was drinking daily. I'm drinking a lot more water than I would have otherwise. And having the connection to the app is great as well because even if I'm not close to the water bottle to see that it's blinking, I'll get a notification on my Apple Watch or I'll get a little buzz on my phone. So I'm still being reminded of how much water I should be drinking even when it's not right next to me. As for the bottle itself, I love like the silicone -y, rubbery feel. I don't know why. It's not that optimal when you think about me having cats around because the hair definitely does sometimes get stuck to the material, but I just love the way it feels. I really like how you can attach this little loop to have a better hand on it. One thing that they can improve on this water bottle is how tightly it's closed. It does close properly. It won't open just randomly, but it does leak if you're not too aware of where it's at. I always like to have it standing up. That could be something they can improve on. Their app is phenomenal. Their personalized hydration equation really stands out to me and I really like that as well. But yeah, I think they're a great product. Those were my final thoughts on the Hydrate Spark 3. I really wanted to talk about just overall water in the human body so you can really see the benefits of a water bottle that reminds you to drink more water. There's up to 60% of water in our body, 73% of water in our heart and brain, and 83% of water in our lungs. And, and a lot more than that that just can't be covered in one video. So yeah, we have a lot of water inside our body, so drinking more water is great and won't leave us dehydrated. Not drinking water can affect your skin Skin, your energy, how much you're focusing. It can have a lot of impact on your daily mood and just overall activity levels. Moral of the story is if you drink more water, you'll be healthier, but you'll also feel better as well. Now let's talk about sustainability. If you are thinking of getting any water bottle, you're already making a big move to changing from a single-use plastic water bottle, which is a great improvement. There's about 8 million metric tons of plastic that end up in our ocean yearly. There's an estimated statistic that 60 million plastic water bottles end up in landfills or in incinerators due to the data that they got from last year with 22 billion plastic water bottles ending up there. 60 million water bottles each day? That's a lot. Imagine how much of an impact you would be doing if you were replacing all the single-use plastic water bottles with one reusable bottle. You'd be saving money because you wouldn't be having to repurchase them all the time and you'd be doing a great help to the environment. Now, I'm really excited to be adding this to my videos. This would be the first one that I will be doing this for, but I'm really thrilled about it because I love animals. I think they're really cool. A lot of them do really interesting things that I'm just like, that seems like an alien, you know, to be able to do those things with your body. So I'm going to be having an animal of the day. And the animal of the day today is the Glaucus Atlantis. 
Is that how I say it? No. Glaucus Atlanticus. Common name for it is the blue dragon. They can grow up to three centimeters long, so they're very small. They're part of the sea slug species, and they're found in the Indian Pacific Ocean. A really fun fact about them is they do something called counter shading. They flip upside down, so they're like this on their belly, and their belly is pretty much, it's like a silvery shade, which blends in with the bottom of the ocean when the fish look at them from the top, which is their back since they're floating, they're seeing their blue side, which blends in with the water surface. I think that's a really cool way of them blending out of sight of predators. And they can also swallow air, giving them the ability to float on top of the water. They also tend to feed on large venomous prey, one of them being the Portuguese man o' war, which I will be talking about in my next video. But basically, feeding on these prey gives them the ability of delivering a very powerful powerful sting. I'll be adding a link about the blue dragon down below if you're interested in learning more. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like down below and subscribe if you want to see more. Also, I would love for you to comment down below how much water you drink a day. It could be fun for us all to compare and I will see you guys next time. Bye.